It's a wonderful day. Channel 2 and Daybreak. This morning, it's all about onions. They add layers of flavor to recipes for everything from breakfast casseroles to holiday barbecues, one of my favorites. So what's the best way to cook with onions? The onion diva, Kim Redden from the National Onion Association is here with more. We know you've got lots of good information. I, I didn't know there was an onion association. There is. Okay. There is. Well, let's get right to it. What are some of the health benefits of onions? Onions are really high in vitamin C. Great source of fiber. Great. And, you know, other than the nutritional values, we're finding that there's phytochemicals in onions that are wonderful for heart health. We're also finding that there's a bone density um, benefit. They actually increase or help with bone density. Terrific. So great for um, preventing osteoporosis. So they're packed for so a, lot of, a lot of different health reasons. Great benefits. Okay, so one of the problems many people have with onions is cutting them without crying. Yeah. Is there a trick? Is there a way that you can really do this and, and cut them up and put them in everything without that effect? Honestly, not really, but there's some tips okay. to help us reduce the tears. Okay. And one way is um, the highest concentration of the compounds that make you cry are at the root end. So if you can cut through that last, it will help. Ah. Um, it's certainly not foolproof. Um, and then chilling an onion about 30 minutes before you cut it also helps slow down that chemical reaction. And then when you chop it, um, just use a really sharp knife. It's important to use a good knife. Okay. So go ahead. Let me see you do it. And what we're going to do here is um, for grilling, something that's really great is when you're grilling wedges like we have today, um, if you'll just leave the root end intact, we've actually peeled this already, Okay. and leave the root end intact. You've cut right down the middle and now just you're wedging. Cut, we're just cutting into these I'm nice not crying wedges. Yet. You're doing a good job. So yeah. you get these really pretty slices yes. that you can oil up. I'm going to shift this over so I can see what yes, you're doing just definitely. a little bit more, okay? Okay. Uh huh. So you're just slicing basically from top to bottom so that you get these really pretty wedges. And there you go. Okay, so let's talk about grilling. And you're yes. using skewers with the ones that you have here. Do you yes. think there's a, a good way to skewer the onion so that you're getting better flavor on it, keeping it intact too? Because mine always fall apart. Cut them thick. Okay. And then the way I did it was, especially with these, I put them on this way. So skewer down through all the way, which was a lot easier than trying to thread them laying down okay. vertically. I'm going to put it right up here so. so everybody can see it like that. And did you put anything on them before you threw them on the grill? A little oil yes, or anything? Yes, a little, a little oil. Mm -hmm. um, the wedges that are over here. Look at this. Yeah, those are yummy. Those look really good. Okay, good tips on that. Let's throw together some salsa, Let's okay? Let's put some salsa together. So what we did is we grilled on those skewers. We chopped them up. We're going to add them. Um, right in here and for some reason I forgot my spoon. That's okay, go for it. Nothing wrong with the hands there. Okay, so you've grilled Promise them I first. Washed. It takes out so some of the bite. It takes out some of the bite, yep. caramelizes the sugars so Perfect. you get lovely caramelization and a great flavor. Now you're we put adding two tomatoes. tomatoes in there, so uh -huh. two big onions, two big tomatoes. Okay. Get them all nice and, and then yeah, grab the green peppers. Can I help you here? Jalapeno actually. Oh, that's Got jalapeno. a little bite in there Gotta and then cilantro. That. And the cilantro. All yummy, right. yummy. And then you've got to have salt. Got that. Got to have cumin. Looks like about a tablespoon. Yep, about a tablespoon each. And then just a squeeze of lime. And that's it? And that's it. That's all you added to the salsa? Yeah. And okay. what you get is that really nice smoky flavor from the grill. Uh-huh. And you just get really beautiful Look color that, with lots of tomato, Hold onion. On. Hold on. I was going to say. Let me do it. Can I do it? Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right. Mmm. Oh, it's wonderful. Very fresh tasting. I like the caramelized onion. And one of the nice things with mm. onions is if you incorporate something besides oil, you can add different flavors. So yep. if you wanted a little smoky flavor, you could add that to your beans with a little barbecue sauce instead of oil on the onions, I love which it. is great. I got a big chunk of jalapeno there. That's good. It's good. Get a little and bite. the onion, too. Yeah, thanks so much for coming in. And by thanks the way, for having me. anybody who wants this recipe will have it on our website, kwgn.com. Time to talk a little people and places, entertainment news, and I'll bring you guys some salsa. All right, good. We'll look forward to that. Chris Parenti right. now talking about uh, no big surprise.